You know him as one of the members of NSYNC, but Lance Bass does it all. Actor, producer, author, and host. And he was in Chicago over the weekend to host the Pop 2000 tour. And I got to sit down with him for an exclusive TV interview. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Pop 2000's tour, you're hosting yes, it. I am. How is being on that side of things now? It's great, you know, it's something I've been doing for the last 15 years, you know, hosting and entertainment news has been my thing. Uh, you know, Dick Clark has been a big hero of mine, yeah. so uh, I love producing, writing, and hosting television just like he did. seeing you and the NSYNC guys get together. I saw on your Instagram you're hanging with Joey and, ev and everyone. Um, what, when you and the NSYNC guys get together now, what do you guys talk about? Oh my gosh, what do we talk Well, we talk about how old we are now. <laughs> uh, we talk about like children, like how I'm having babies soon. Yeah. And, you know, Joey now has an 18 year old, which is so crazy. Oh my, my goddaughter. I know, it's like nuts. And she's now dating. It's very strange. Are you gonna get on the baby train? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we should be uh we should be pregnant very soon. Really? Yeah. Wait, any other details you can tell us? No, that's it. I mean, I, yeah, we've been working it. on it for a long time. Uh, we've gone through seven donors now, so it's uh, it's been quite the process. But I think we are we got all the right things lined up, so it should go smoothly. Oh, yes. oh, oh. If you could go back to like 2000s Lance, what would you tell yourself? Oh my gosh, uh, come out of the closet, <laughs> please. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I missed so much of life uh, not being who I was, uh, you know, and it was a different time back then, of course. Yeah. It was scary to uh, to be an out gay person in entertainment because it was it was a career ender. And then when I finally came out, I'm like, oh, really? That wasn't a big deal at all. That must have been so hard. It was it was lonely is what it was. It was, yeah. uh, you know, all the guys were dating people and you know, I'd go home for the holidays and I have no one. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, it got really lonely the older I got. They knew though. No, yeah? they did not no. know. Oh, they no, didn't. I didn't tell a single person. Okay. I, it was just something that I knew I would, I would die with that secret. Is there any chance we'll ever get an NSYNC reunion tour? I mean, I doubt it, but never say never. I mean, I didn't know I'd be doing Coachella two months ago. Right. So, you know, uh, I, who knows? was being on that stage with Ariana Grande. Incredible. I mean, she wanted, I mean, she's the biggest star on the planet right yeah. now. We have a great bond. I mean, I've known Ariana for years and, you know, she was a huge NSYNC fan. Yeah. She would come to all the shows when she was three years old, uh, which makes me really old. What's coming up next for you? Um, I'm bringing back my old uh, talk show, uh, which we're renaming as the old Dirty Pop Show on Sirius XM. Yeah. We're bringing it to podcast, so it'll be a daily podcast. Oh, amazing! I will subscribe. And then uh, we start pre-production on uh, my next movie very soon. Um, and it's about these two NSYNC fans that won a Winnebago on The Price is Right and followed us on tour. <laughs> so it's like the is most random true, story. It's a true story? It's a true story. Oh my yeah. God, yeah. amazing. Uh, I have to tell you guys, this is a real full circle moment for me too, because when I was a little girl watching people get to interview in sync, that was one of the first times I was inspired to become a host and a journalist, and it was just a treat to get to chat with them. And you know, maybe if we all sign a petition, in sync will reunite, right? <laughs> one can only dream. And the Pop 2000 Tour has rolled out of Chicago, but you can visit the pop2000tour.com or keep up with Lance on his social media to find out the next stop.